80 questions are little bizarre, but 220 are crackable like color blindness. H and L variety is typically seen in the case of the lymphocyte predominant type of Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is a little tricky question, right? They are also called popcorn cells, cell and H cells. So you have various varieties, nodular sclerosis type, lymphocyte depleted, lymphocyte predominant type. Only when lymphocyte predominant are there, types of lymphocytes will be there. Some are L type, some are H type, histiocytic type, lymphocytic type, popcorn cells are the ones which you need to remember. Stellate granuloma, where do you see catch scratch disease? Then, uh, <clears throat> what is meant by flipping effect? Normal blood may typically LDH2 is predominant. Instead, if LDH1 is more than LDH2, it is an indication that you are having myocardial infarction, which is called the flipping effect. Nude mice is not resistant to xenograft because of what? Another challenging question, not a regular wala question. First of all, nude mice kya hota hai? In order to conduct uh, various uh, studies, you will remove the thymus. When you remove the thymus and um, uh, you get a mouse which is hairless, it does not have thymus. And there is one gene called new gene, which is a recessive gene on chromosome 11. And typically, it does not have this, uh, it is homozygous for this NU gene, hence called nude mouse. And nude mouse is that experimental mouse without thymus. If thymus is not there, then uh, the T cells are not there. So, that is used experimentally, um, is what need to be remembered. Now, what is this particular histology of the testis? Typically, it is a seminoma. You can see the normal testis looks like this. And the seminomatous testis with a monotonous lymphocytic population, typically monotonously looking cells look like this. So, that is a seminoma. Anaplasia is a de-differentiated cell. As all of you know very well, the basic definition. Oh, this is another guess question. If you did not do it, uh, answer it, no regrets. Right? You are not expected to answer also. Typically, when prolactin levels are more than 200. Right? So, if I ask you what is the silicon level in Pacific Ocean, can you answer? But in exam hall, I temptation to tell you this too. That is the that is the count of the karod pati, neat pg pati. Right? Uh, that is a competition. Laxative abuse. Why does it lead to stone disease? There are some stones called uncommon stones. Calcium carbonate, calcium citrate, ammonium urate, which forms in laxative abuse is called as a, a abnormal type of stones. So, typically, um, laxative abuse will make the person lose potassium. Losing potassium as a compensation to K plus is positive ion. NH4 plus is also a positive ion. So, kidney will compensate for the loss of the potassium by producing large amounts of another positive ion that is NH4 plus. That is ammonium. And that is the reason ammonium binds with urate to form ammonium acid urate stones in those people who have laxative abuse. This is one among those 30 questions that a brain ka istemal karna padega if you are a distinction level student and uh, don't know anything else in the world but only studying. We are not like that. Okay, what can we do? Now, what is this condition? Typically, lung, whenever there is a pneumonia, lobar pneumonia, it will pass through gray hepatization, red hepatization. So, this is that phase which is being shown, hence a case of low bar pneumonia. Now, what is this typical condition that is being shown in the image? So, it is a miliary TB. You have got multiple miliary seed like uh, uh, appearance on the lung, which makes you to think of miliary TB. Typically, radiologically, millet seed like pattern makes it a disseminated miliary TB. 
Where do you find dactylitis? This is a very favorite question. Known question to everybody. Typically in sickle cell disease, people develop dactylitis. Mullerian inhibiting factor is produced by typically by the Y chromosome. There is a gene called SRY gene which will make Mullerian inhibiting factor. SRY gene is there on the Y chromosome and the Mullerian inhibiting factor which typically cause the degeneration of the paramyosinephric duct also called Mullerian duct which will lead to development of female genital system. So it should not develop in male. The courtesy goes to MIF, which is produced by SRY. SRY gene is there on the Y chromosome. Burkadolia sepatia is resistant to what? Oh my God. This is another unacceptable question. Impossible. So, typically, aminoglycosides, polymyxins, first and second generation cephalosporins, it is not vulnerable. So, that is the point. Another wild guess, but agar stone mare to negative mark kaane ka achcha chance hai is me. Huh? It's called prescription for suicide. Kind of questions, these are all. Shingles is varicella joster, which is chicken pox, which is reactivated in immunocompromised state. Urea, breath test, H. pylori, everybody know. Hyperacute graft rejection is due to preformed antibodies. Agar kisi ko transplant kar rahe to plan while doing transfusions be careful if you don't properly match and do transfusions repeatedly preformed antibodies form the moment you put graft they go and attack that's called hyperacute rejection occurs within minutes is what you have to basically remember australian antigen is hbsag orbital cellulitis is due to mucormycosis most commonly and this is how especially diabetic individuals may. Sabine Feldman test is typically done in toxoplasmiosis, not typically done. There are many, many serological improvements in diagnosing toxoplasma. Nobody is doing this Sabine Feldman, but it will be given like a quiz question. Acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis is enterovirus 70. This is a standard question. You should answer. So it is a numerical. Echinococcus granulosis, where does it perform its sexual reproduction? Dog can, dog is the definitive host. Sheep, goat, swine are all intermediate hosts. And uh, uh, an anaerobe with multiple abscess, can it um, demonstrate sulfur granules? Come on, sulfur granules and actinomyces, everyone knows. Whole blood is used as a sample for which test? Uh, this is once more an uncrackable question. Uncrackable. If you prepare also, you have to guess this question. Nothing to do with your intelligence. Let me honestly tell you. So, it is interferon gamma release assays. You have to use the whole blood, which is typically used for diagnosing mycobacterium TB. I know that IGRA is for a mycobacterium TB, but whole blood ka mamla hai na, IGR mein. That is something that is very difficult to guess. Right? Don't tell, sir, I answered it correctly. By luck. Sheer luck. Right? Now, which organism causes bacterial prostatitis? UTI, prostate, anything closer to rectum and anus will be anal organisms only. E. coli. Simple to remember. Histamine release when scombroid fish poisoning is because of uh, which organism is involved. Basically, uh, after eating scombroid fish, there will be a lot of flushing because of the extensive histamine release and patient goes into respiratory distress and dies. Yeah, as medical students, we lose even pleasure in eating fish also. Because every time you eat fish, you will remember scombroid poisoning, pseudomonas. So, what is this poisoning is all about? Typically, uh, 
the enteric gram negative bacteria like pseudomonas are found in the fish in their cuts and their intestine if it is not well cooked fish then those who eat it then the pseudomonas will cause the release of histamine and typically that happens with a um, half cooked fish who is the father of microbiology still fathers brothers sisters we have to remember our forefathers that's how you will be given a chance to get into md huh? so anton von leeuwenhoek is the father of microbiology cutaneous larva migrants is because the ankylostoma brazilians then uh, after kidney transplantation most commonly what is the cause it is a cmv cytomegalovirus one of the routine questions catheter induced infection any bloody infection staphylococcus aureus is there don't touch anything straight to go and kiss it that will be the answer staph aureus now what is this organism which has got a ring form ring forms are typically seen in pulsifera malaria if you answer this image based question wrong means completely unexcused right because a malaria wala ring form ka pehchane wala question hai this is expected at least now endogenous pyrogen is the pge2 which will typically lead to development of the fever by acting on the preoptic area in hypothalamus ha bacter little jittle man three syndromes many times on this floor we discussed discussed and discussed even youtube mein maro bacter syndrome little syndrome thousands of students watched on youtube.com/onlinemvs favorite question whether you go to aims pj everything you should understand bacter little jittle man one question invariably comes from one of these three right i don't go through detail because this session is too short for that simply you remember little syndrome is similar to the same situation where a person is taking potassium sparing diuretic there is epithelium sodium potassium transporter typically if you take spironolactone like potassium sparing diuretic it will cause the inhibition of epithelium sodium uh co transporter same problem will occur in little with defective sodium um, co transporter on the epithelium then barter syndrome is like a person taking loop diuretic like furosemide furosemide will go and inhibit the sodium potassium 2 chloride in the thick ascending uh, limb of loop of hanle so the same thing happens in the people who have barter where their sodium potassium 2 chloride channel is defective then jittle man is like taking thyroid diuretics and for thyroid diuretics acts on the distal convulsive tubule on the sodium chloride co transporter similar thing happens in jittle man jittle man is thyroid zide mein jad hai na jittle man ka g hai na ये दोनों एक ही तरफ की राइमिंग होता है देन बार्टर इज लाइक लूप लिडिल इज लाइक पोटेशियम स्पेरिंग डायरेटिक दिस मच फॉर नाउ बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ स्टोरी इन दैट राइट देन पलमरी एस्पर्जिलोसिस देर आर सर्टन क्राइटेरिया टू डिफाइन ए गिवेन पर्सन हैविंग पलमरी एस्पर्जिलोसिस इन दैट हाई आई जी लेवल्स cavity lesions there are all the things but recurrent pneumonia is not uh, uh, a part of the criteria i leave the list of criteria that have been given before you consider it as uh, uh, what are obligatory criteria what are minor criteria everything pseudo p pulmonal abba knowing p pulmonal occurs in right atrial enlargement p mitral occurs in left atrial enlargement itself is a big story upar se pseudo p pulmonal impossible question anyway what is meant by p it occurs in hypokalemia what is p pulmonal if you look our chest leads 
you have on the right side v1 v2 separately you have v3 v4 and uh, you are having v5 v6 on the left side so typically if you look at the uh, heart uh, atrial activity which lead to p wave formation the it starts in right atrium and descends down the right atrial activity and left atrial activity goes towards the left side so that is the reason whenever p wave forms right typically in the lead v1 what will happen because the right atrium is directly underneath the v1 you get a p wave due to right atrial activity and the left atrial activity ke wajah se jo bhi p hota hai right isi ke andar bad jata and what you see is only one single p wave so suppose if you have a right atrial enlargement this right atrial activity ke wajah se hone wala big p become bigger how do you define bigger normally in the v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 what do you call they are called precordial leads in the precordial leads the height of the p wave is considered to be 1.5 boxes small boxes limb leads it is 2.5 small boxes if the height of the p wave is more than 1.5 small boxes you call it as a large p when does this large p occur in the lead v1 when does it occur whenever right atrium enlarge when will right atrium enlarge if there is any pulmonary hypertension the pulmonary hypertension is there right ventricle will have a high pressure into that right atrium has to pump because pulmonary artery opens into right ventricle so that is the reason the right atrium will enlarge and what do you get is called p pulmonale which is a taller p wave in lead v1 v2 suppose if left atrial enlargement what will happen normally p wave is because of what right atrial activity in the v1 but left atrial activity is sitting inside it but if left atrial enlargement is there even left atrium will throw another p wave so two p waves together will look like macdonald sign this is called m shaped p mitral when does this happen whenever the left atrium enlarges okay so that is called p mitral there is a large story so i am trying to condense it if he asked p pulmonary lacter because of right atrial enlargement that is a reasonable question pseudo p pulmonary oh this is too much if you didn't answer no regrets if you answered regrets definitely right because you are wildly guessing it yeah now doctor automatic defibrillator these are all the indications brugada ventricular fibrillation or a low ejection fraction in all these situations mortality will happen then uh, <clears throat> intractable sydenham chorea impossible question this is also sydenham chorea hota hai rheumatic fever malum hona hi ho bade baat hai ऊपर से वाल्प्रेड इस्तेमाल करते या हाइलोप्रेडॉल इस्तेमाल करते ओके इफ आस के क्वेश्चन लेनॉक्स गस्टॉर्ड सिंड्रोम में व्हाट डू यूज यू शुड आंसर राइट मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी व्हाट डू यूज इज रीजनेबल सिडन हैम कोरिया में उच्च एंटी एपिलेप्टिक इज बियॉन्ड डीएम डीएम नीट पीजी राइट नॉट एमडी वाला नीट पीजी न्यूरोफाइब्रोमेटोसिस वन क्राइटेरिया अनदर पेनफुल क्वेश्चन impossible to answer who will remember all the list of criteria and identify which one is not there very difficult negative marking means touch me nahi karna hai aise questions ko most common location for chronic gastric ulcer pyloric antrum if you don't answer this you are out right then uh, between hiv infection manifestation 10 saal lagega 10 saal kuch bhi kar sakte 10 saal ke baad rona shuru ho jata right Heller's myotomy is for achalasia cardia easiest question what is the myocardial stunning pattern 
What do you mean by myocardial swelling? Whenever the perfusion to the heart decreases, the heart get uh, stunned myocardium it is called. It is not matching what you are seeing in ECG. When there is a mismatch between ECG findings and uh, the myocardial perfusion studies findings, what is it because of? Taka subbo cardiomyopathy. So what is meant by Taka subbo cardiomyopathy? Right? So typically, the heart will nicely, happily contract whenever norepinephrine is acting. But if the catecholamines lead to severe vasoconstriction and decrease the blood flow to the heart, heart feels strangulated and that situation of catecholamine induced transient myocardial stunning is called Takasubbo cardiomyopathy is what need to be remembered. Whenever there is a cardiac arrest, if you don't want to use epinephrine, what is the other choice? Vasopressin. High dose vasopressin also can go and bind with the catecholamine receptors on the heart. Okay? Where else do you use high dose vasopressin? Suppose somebody had a beta blocker toxicity, lot of beta blocker drugs he took. All his epinephrine receptors are all blocked by beta blocker. Then how can you make the heart once more to work? Because you can't use epinephrine because all receptors are blocked by beta blocker. Then also high dose vasopressin is the one which is the choice available for you. Cutaneous vasculitis with gomenephritis with peripheral neuropathy, typically an example of an ANCA associated vasculitis. So how do you divide vasculitis doc? ANCA associated, not associated. In that you will look granulomatous or not. If granulomatous is asthma, isnophilia, there or not. If you asthma, isnophilia is there, you call Church straw syndrome. What is Church straws? Asthma, isnophilia with granuloma, with ANCA positivity, with vasculitis. Then the other type is vaginates. In vaginates, you don't have asthma, isnophilia, but there is a granuloma and ANCA positivity with vasculitis. Then if there is no, vas no ANCA, look at IgA. If IgA is deposited, then you call as IgA vasculitis, otherwise called Hinox Collins Perthira. Look for cryoglobulins. If they are there, you call cryoglobulinemia. So, this is how you approach a problem of. So, cryoglobulinemia or IgA vasculitis are typically non anca vasculitis. Once more, pathology may deco. Vasculitis top 10 topics may reta. Glomerulonephritis top 10 topics may reta. Agar glomerulonephritis nahi hai, vasculitis nahi hai, usko PG medical entrance nahi bolte. Right? So, life is very easy. Just Strongly read these 650 topics, take 3040 good mock tests, practice yourself very well. 650 topics padne ke liye, hardly you don't need 2 to 300 hours. Rose 10 gande bad rahe to, 3 hafte kaafi hai PG preparation ke liye. If you know what to read, 10 gande bhi nahi bhai to, my bull wrong. January is too long, right? Next January is too long. Now, cryoglobulinemia is typically seen in? Hepatitis C, as all of you know. Hypokalemia with metabolic alkalosis with hypertension, where do we see? Typically in Liddell syndrome. Liddell is like what? Which diuretic I told you? Thiazide is like Zittelman. Which is like loop diuretic, which is like uh, potassium sparing diuretic. Huh? Potassium sparing diuretic. So, right? So, you need to review... Uh, what happens in uh, in the case of uh, little syndrome? It is like a diuretic, right? Then uh, uh, there is an increased activity of the epithelial sodium channel. It will ex activate the kidneys to secrete potassium retaining. Um, I mean, it, it will make the kidney to excrete potassium and retain excessive sodium and water, and that lead to development of hypertension. Okay. Um, in that, what did we discuss about Liddell and uh, uh, Barker? In the earlier, one illustration is there, no? Once uh, you go through the entire topic, why stones form in uh, which type of uh, Liddell or Barker and all those things, once you review, uh, this is suddenly we are intruding into the middle of the topic. Uh. What is the gold criteria for severe COPD? That is also a challenging question. 
we know COPD, but suddenly gold criteria make FEV1 value kitna hai is impossible to remember. So gold has predicted based on a spirometric finding, if FEV1 by FPC is less than 7, I mean 0 0.7, you call it as a severe type is what he has defined. ABP way, ankle brachial pressure index typically increases whenever there is any atherosclerosis with calcified arteries as all of you know. What is a minimal dysfunction syndrome? Oh, this is a little challenging question only because psychiatry a subject hai bol ke malum hai. Magar itna depth wala psychiatry difficult. Schizophrenia bole to thoda malum hai. Huh? Uh, there are about 15, 20 topics in psychiatry you should read. So, minimal dysfunction syndrome may, there will be dyslexia, neurodevelopmental disorder with minimal brain dysfunction and uh, emotions, behavior, activity may immaturity data. Specific learning disabilities like reading, writing, mathematics may problems with that. If I go read two more things, you will discover that we are all suffering from that. Right. So, minimal dysfunction syndrome, that is the thing. So, first 100 questions may he, 14 impossible questions nikla. Matlab, 50 impossible questions are there in 300 questions. Okay. So, to not touch those 50 questions, so that negative marking does not kill your this thing. Another 30 questions, thoda achcha padne wale, bright students answer karne wala question hota. 220 hota na, khada equina use karke, gade hone ke baad bhi answer karne wala questions hota hai. So that gadha yi questions, 220 ko perfectly 100% answer karna, aur 30 mein another 20 questions, 15, 10, 15 questions correct answer karna. 235, 240 maro, oh, be ready and do not do a suicide attempt on the 50 questions. So, to know that discretion is most important to win. Okay.